You've entered the world of Mr. Horror, where the line between reality and terror blurs. Get ready for three hair-raising true horror stories that'll make you question the shadows around you. Let the horror begin. Lena was an aspiring travel blogger, always searching for unique and unusual destinations to visit and share with her growing audience. One day, she received an anonymous email inviting her to spend a weekend at a newly renovated historic hotel nestled in a remote mountain town. The invitation promised an unforgettable experience, with the hotel's dark and mysterious past adding an extra layer of intrigue. Lena, always eager for a new adventure, accepted the invitation without a second thought. Upon arriving at the hotel, Lena was immediately captivated by its grand architecture and the eerie atmosphere that seemed to hang in the air. The hotel's owner, a charming and enigmatic man named Mr. Blackwood, greeted her warmly and offered her a complimentary upgrade to the most luxurious suite. Lena graciously accepted, excited to explore the hotel's secrets and share them with her followers. As Lena settled into her room, she couldn't help but feel a sense of unease. The opulent decor seemed to mask a darker history, with haunting portraits lining the walls and cold, lifeless eyes that seemed to follow her every move. Despite her initial excitement, Lena began to sense that something was not quite right at the hotel. That night, Lena woke to the sound of soft, distant whispers echoing through the darkened hallways. Unable to shake the feeling that she was being watched, she decided to investigate the source of the whispers. As she ventured deeper into the hotel, she discovered hidden rooms and secret passageways, each one shrouded in mystery and filled with chilling artifacts from the hotel's past. Lena was about to uncover a series of sinister events that had taken place within the hotel's walls, events that would shake her to the core and leave her questioning whether she would survive her stay. Little did she know that the hotel's dark secrets were just the beginning of her nightmare. As Lena explored the hotel's hidden chambers, she discovered a locked door hidden behind a dusty bookshelf. Intrigued, she managed to pick the lock and step into a dimly lit room. In the center of the room was a large, antique wooden table surrounded by stacks of old documents, photographs, and newspaper clippings. Lena couldn't help but feel drawn to the chilling evidence of the hotel's sinister history. As she began to piece together the story from the documents, Lena uncovered a horrifying truth. Over the decades, guests of the hotel had been vanishing without a trace. The mysterious disappearances were always explained away as accidents or runaways, but the mounting evidence pointed to something far more malevolent. Lena felt her heart race as she realized that she, too, might become a victim of the hotel's dark secrets. In her determination to uncover the truth, Lena stumbled upon a hidden journal belonging to the hotel's original owner, Mr. Blackwood's great-grandfather. The journal revealed a chilling confession. The hotel was built upon a network of ancient tunnels, once used by a secret society with dark and nefarious intentions. The society had been disbanded years ago, but the hotel's legacy of sinister events continued to haunt its guests. As Lena delved deeper into the journal, she discovered a pattern of strange occurrences that seemed to coincide with each disappearance. Guests would often report hearing whispers in the night, followed by feelings of intense paranoia and fear. These unsettling incidents would ultimately lead to the disappearance of the unfortunate guest. The more Lena uncovered, the more she began to fear for her own safety. She felt as though she was being watched at every turn, the unseen eyes of the hotel's dark past following her every move. Lena knew she had to find a way to put an end to the cycle of terror, but time was running out. As the whispers grew louder and the shadows closed in around her, Lena realized that she might not make it out of the hotel alive. Determined to survive and expose the hotel's dark secrets, Lena devised a plan. She began by searching the hidden tunnels beneath the hotel, hoping to find some way to break the curse that seemed to hold the building and its guests in its grip. As she navigated the labyrinth, she discovered a concealed chamber adorned with eerie symbols and the remnants of long-forgotten rituals. In the center of the chamber stood an ancient, crumbling altar surrounded by the dusty remains of its past victims. Lena felt a shiver run down her spine as she realized that this was the heart of the hotel's evil, the source of the darkness that had plagued its guests for generations. With no time to waste, Lena began to perform a cleansing ritual she had found in the journal, hoping to rid the hotel of its sinister presence once and for all. As she chanted the incantation, the shadows in the chamber seemed to come alive, writhing and twisting as if in agony. The whispers grew louder, desperate to stop Lena from completing the ritual. Suddenly, the chamber shook violently as an unearthly scream tore through the air. Lena felt a wave of pure terror wash over her, but she refused to give in to the darkness. She continued to chant the incantation, her voice growing stronger with each word. With one final, deafening roar, the shadows retreated, and an eerie silence fell over the hotel. Lena knew that she had succeeded, that the curse was broken, and the hotel's dark secrets were finally laid to rest. Exhausted but triumphant, Lena returned to the surface and confronted Mr. Blackwood. She revealed everything she had discovered and demanded that he make amends for the hotel's horrific past. Mr. Blackwood, shaken by the revelations, vowed to close the hotel and dedicate his life to ensuring that its dark history would never be forgotten.
In the weeks that followed, Lena shared her harrowing experience with her followers, and her story went viral. The hotel's chilling past became the subject of countless news articles, documentaries, and investigations. Lena's courageous actions not only saved her own life, but also ensured that no one else would fall victim to the hotel's sinister legacy. As for Lena, she continued her travels, exploring the world's most haunted and mysterious locations. She remained forever vigilant, knowing that the darkness she had faced in the hotel was only the beginning of her journey into the unknown. Alex was an urban explorer, drawn to the thrill of uncovering hidden stories behind abandoned buildings. When he heard about a long-forgotten hotel deep in the woods, he couldn't resist the opportunity to explore its decaying halls. The hotel had a chilling reputation, with locals avoiding the area and sharing whispered stories of the strange occurrences that had taken place within its walls. Undeterred, Alex gathered his gear and set out on a journey to find the hotel, determined to document its haunting beauty and unravel the truth behind the chilling tales. After a long and treacherous hike through the dense forest, he finally stumbled upon the hotel, its crumbling facade standing as a testament to the passage of time. The hotel was larger than Alex had expected, its once grand rooms now consumed by nature and decay. He carefully made his way through the hotel, capturing stunning images of the eerie beauty that lay within. As he delved deeper into the building, however, he began to notice strange and unsettling details. There were cryptic messages carved into the walls, and the remains of strange, ritualistic symbols scattered throughout the rooms. The more he explored, the more Alex felt an overwhelming sense of dread creeping into the back of his mind. He couldn't shake the feeling that he wasn't alone, that the hotel was somehow watching him, waiting for the perfect moment to reveal its true nature. As night began to fall, Alex decided to set up camp within the hotel, eager to capture the haunting atmosphere of the building after dark. He knew that his decision to stay the night was a risky one, but he was determined to uncover the truth behind the hotel's sinister reputation. Little did he know, the hotel had more than just ghost stories to share, and his overnight stay would become a terrifying experience he would never forget. As night descended upon the hotel, Alex began to experience a series of chilling events that made him question his sanity. He heard whispers echoing through the empty halls and the creaking of floorboards above him, as if someone was pacing the rooms. Shadows seemed to dance across the walls, taking on sinister shapes that made his heart race with fear. Determined to confront the hotel's dark secrets head-on, Alex decided to investigate the source of the strange occurrences. He followed the whispers down a hidden staircase, which led him to the hotel's long-abandoned basement. The air was thick with a sense of dread, and as Alex shone his flashlight into the darkness, he discovered a series of rooms that seemed to have been untouched for decades. One room, in particular, sent a shiver down his spine. The walls were adorned with disturbing paintings of twisted figures and gruesome scenes, and in the center of the room stood a large, dusty book, its pages filled with cryptic symbols and chilling incantations. Alex realized that he had stumbled upon a secret chamber where dark rituals had once been performed by the hotel's sinister occupants. As he delved deeper into the book, Alex discovered that the hotel had once been a gathering place for a cult dedicated to summoning dark entities from the netherworld. The cult had been disbanded many years ago, but the evil they had unleashed still lingered within the hotel's walls, feeding on the fear of those who dared to enter. Suddenly, Alex felt a cold breath on the back of his neck, and the whispers he had been hearing grew louder and more sinister. He knew that he was in grave danger, and that if he didn't act quickly, he might not make it out of the hotel alive. Summoning all his courage, Alex decided to use the information he had discovered in the book to perform a counter-ritual, hoping to banish the evil that haunted the hotel and put an end to its reign of terror. He knew that his chances of success were slim, but he refused to let fear control him any longer. Alex hastily gathered the necessary items for the counter-ritual, his hands trembling with a mix of fear and determination. He returned to the sinister chamber, knowing that he would have to face the dark forces head-on if he wanted to escape the hotel's grip. As he prepared for the ritual, the whispers grew louder and the shadows closed in around him, attempting to intimidate and weaken his resolve. With a deep breath, Alex began reciting the incantations from the ancient book, his voice rising above the sinister whispers that echoed through the chamber. The air around him crackled with energy and the shadows seemed to recoil in fear as the power of the ritual took hold. Alex felt a surge of courage and hope, as if the very walls of the hotel were supporting his efforts to banish the darkness. As the ritual reached its climax, a terrifying figure emerged from the shadows, its twisted form and embodiment of the hotel's dark past. Alex knew that he had to face the entity to confront the evil that had plagued the hotel for so long. With a final, desperate chant, he called upon the powers of light to banish the darkness once and for all. The entity let out an ear-piercing shriek, as if in agony, and the shadows began to dissipate, retreating back into the depths of the hotel. As the last remnants of darkness faded away, the hotel seemed to breathe a sigh of relief, the atmosphere becoming lighter and less oppressive. 
Exhausted but victorious, Alex knew that he had achieved something remarkable. He had faced his fears and freed the hotel from the clutches of darkness, allowing its haunted halls to finally know peace. With a newfound sense of purpose, Alex vowed to continue his journey, seeking out other forgotten places and uncovering the hidden stories that lay within. As he made his way out of the hotel and back into the forest, he couldn't help but feel a sense of awe at the events that had transpired. He knew that his experience at the hotel had changed him and that he would never see the world in the same way again. And so, Alex's harrowing adventure at the haunted hotel came to an end, but his journey as a fearless explorer of the unknown had only just begun. The secrets he uncovered within the hotel's walls would forever serve as a testament to the power of courage, hope, and the unyielding human spirit in the face of darkness. And as for the hotel, it would remain a silent guardian of the forest, its once terrifying secrets now a distant memory. Diana, a travel blogger with a penchant for exploring haunted and mysterious places, received a mysterious letter in her mailbox one morning. It was an invitation to spend a weekend at the long-abandoned Thornwood Hotel, nestled deep in the heart of a secluded forest. The letter piqued Diana's curiosity, as she had never heard of the hotel before, and it seemed like the perfect place to uncover some chilling stories for her blog. Upon arriving at the Thornwood Hotel, Diana was struck by the eerie atmosphere that seemed to permeate the building. The hotel itself was a grand, Victorian-era structure, its once elegant facade now weathered and overgrown with ivy. Despite its dilapidated appearance, there was something strangely captivating about the hotel, and Diana felt compelled to discover its secrets. As she explored the hotel's creaky halls and dust-filled rooms, Diana found numerous relics from the hotel's past. Old photographs revealed a time when the hotel was bustling with life, and newspaper clippings hinted at a dark history involving the hotel's eccentric owner, Mr. Blackwood, and his mysterious disappearance. As night began to fall, Diana discovered that the hotel held more than just old memories. It was also home to a series of chilling, unexplained occurrences. She heard strange noises coming from the walls and felt an inexplicable coldness in certain rooms. Even more unsettling were the ghostly apparitions that appeared before her eyes, vanishing as quickly as they appeared. Determined to unravel the hotel's dark past and discover the truth behind the eerie happenings, Diana decided to delve deeper into the hotel's history. She soon discovered that the hotel had once been a gathering place for a secret society, one that was obsessed with unlocking the mysteries of life, death, and the supernatural. As Diana continued to explore the hotel's hidden corners, she stumbled upon a concealed room tucked away in the basement. The room was filled with strange artifacts and ancient books, all of which seemed to be connected to the secret society that had once gathered within the hotel's walls. It quickly became apparent that the hotel had been used as a base for the society's dark and twisted experiments. In her search for answers, Diana came across a journal belonging to Mr. Blackwood, the enigmatic owner of the hotel. As she pored over the pages, she realized that Blackwood had not only been a member of the secret society, but also their leader. The journal revealed his obsession with harnessing the supernatural powers of the hotel to achieve immortality and his descent into madness as the experiments took their toll on him. As Diana delved further into the hotel's past, she began to unravel the truth behind the chilling occurrences that had haunted her since her arrival. It seemed that the spirits that roamed the hotel were the tormented souls of those who had fallen victim to Blackwood's twisted experiments. Trapped within the walls of the hotel, they were unable to find peace or move on to the afterlife. Determined to right the wrongs of the past and free the trapped souls, Diana decided to confront the spirit of Mr. Blackwood himself. According to the journal, Blackwood's spirit was believed to be trapped within a cursed painting that hung in the hotel's grand ballroom. She hoped that by confronting him, she could force him to release the spirits of his victims and allow them to find peace. As Diana entered the grand ballroom, she couldn't help but feel a shiver run down her spine. The once lavish room was now a shadow of its former self, with tattered curtains and cracked mirrors lining the walls. In the center of the room, the cursed painting loomed over her, its haunting depiction of Mr. Blackwood sending chills down her spine. As she approached the painting, she could feel the oppressive energy in the room grow stronger. It was clear that the spirit of Mr. Blackwood was not going to give up his control over the hotel and its trapped souls without a fight. With a deep breath, Diana steeled herself for the confrontation with Mr. Blackwood's spirit. She began to recite an ancient ritual she had discovered in one of the Secret Society's books, hoping that it would be powerful enough to break the curse and free the trapped souls. As she chanted, the atmosphere in the ballroom grew increasingly tense. The room grew colder, and a sinister darkness seemed to envelop everything around her. Suddenly, the painting began to tremble, and the image of Mr. Blackwood began to twist and contort, as if trying to break free from its confines. Diana refused to back down, her voice growing louder and more confident as she continued the ritual. She could feel the energy in the room shift, as if the spirits of the hotel were rallying behind her, joining their strength to hers in a united effort to overcome Blackwood's evil influence. 
With one final, powerful chant, Diana felt a surge of energy course through her, and a blinding light erupted from the painting. The room shook violently, and the oppressive darkness was replaced by a warm, soothing light. The painting of Mr. Blackwood crumbled to dust, his spirit finally vanquished. As the dust settled, Diana looked around the ballroom to find that it had been transformed. The tattered curtains and cracked mirrors had been replaced by pristine decorations, and the once ominous atmosphere had given way to a sense of peace and serenity. The trapped souls of the hotel's past had been freed, and they appeared before her one by one, their expressions filled with gratitude and relief. As the spirits began to fade, Diana knew that they were finally able to move on to the afterlife, no longer bound by Blackwood's dark influence. She felt a profound sense of accomplishment, knowing that she had not only uncovered the chilling truth behind the Thornwood Hotel, but had also managed to right the wrongs of its past. With her mission complete, Diana left the hotel and returned to her life as a travel blogger, forever changed by her experience at the Thornwood Hotel. She shared her story with her readers, and the hotel soon became a place of pilgrimage for those seeking to experience the supernatural and unravel the mysteries of the past. As for the hotel itself, it was eventually restored to its former glory, a testament to the power of redemption and the resilience of the human spirit. And although the spirits of the Thornwood Hotel had finally found peace, the echoes of their stories continued to captivate and haunt those who ventured within its hallowed halls, a chilling reminder of the darkness that once lurked within. Thank you so much for watching today's chilling episode. If you enjoy these spine-tingling, true, creepy, and sinister hotel horror stories, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to click the bell icon so you'll be the first to know when we release more terrifying tales from the darkest corners of the world. Stay tuned, and remember, darkness awaits those who dare to venture into the unknown.